Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Mark and today I'm going to show you how to integrate dialect flow with your Silverbots messenger bot. It's very simple to do. It's a native integration so you don't have you don't have the need for any third party applications. And the way to do this is by going to settings. Then pressing the integrations tab. And mine is already connected, but let's disconnect it to show you it from first get go. So go to integrations, press the connect dialect flow. It will ask you for your Google account. So you, you need to have a Google account to build a dialect flow agent. So connect it. And press allow. From here, we're basically done. Uh, we only need to uh, connect to the dialect flow agent. And the way to do this, if you go to dialect flow for the first time, you won't have any agent. So you will press this button here uh, above, press the drop arrow, and say create new agent. Could be that if you don't have any agents, that create new agent will be displayed here instead. So if you say create new agent, you can give it a name, for example, the name of your business or your messenger bot or something like that. You can also build uh, agents for your clients, so that's also good to know. If you're done, just give in the name and press create. It will take a few seconds for it to create and then it will get you back to the one you want to go to. Uh, so let's say for instance, I build my main messenger bot, as you can see, with a few, flow, uh, with a few intents. For this one, I created a test agent, which we are going to use. As you can see, it only has the default fallback and the default welcome intent. We're not going to do anything with this at this moment, but we're going to go to the settings of Silverbots again because we created our dialect flow agent. Going to settings, integrations, then say connect agent. And from here we can select our agent, right? So for this demo purpose, I created this test agent. Press continue. And there we have it. We have connected dialect flow directly to Silverbots without any third party application. Nothing needed. And this is the integration. So, how does it work? Um, as I showed you in the agent itself, when creating an agent, you have two intents. An intent is a certain action and a certain response that's being saved by dialect flow to respond inside of your message bot. And we got a fallback intent. So if something is not catched by your messenger bot, you can have the fallback intent from dialect flow. In this case, this isn't necessary and we can delete this because we can use the silver bot's default reply, right? Which we can set up. So we're going to delete this fallback intent. And then we have the default welcome intent. So how does this look like? Just press it, we'll see that the event is welcome. You can add multiple events. I will go events, and I will go into this deeper inside of a next video because I just want to show you the integration and how you can set it up within minutes and use it. So let's close the events for now. And as you can see, this welcome, uh, yeah, this welcome intent already has pre-built training phrases. So just going to say hi, hey, yeah, hello, hi, howdy, and the list goes on for two pages. And then we have multiple variant responses. So in this case, we're going to close the action parameters because we're not going to use it for this video. And we have the responses. So, hey, how are you doing? Hello, how can I help you? Good day, what can I do for you today? Greetings, how can I? And you can add another text response beneath that if you want to. 
for example, if I want to put in hey and then a first name variable inside of dialect flow, you will need to put in three brackets. So one, two, three, then the first name variable will be first and on the name uh, underscore and then name, and then close off with three brackets. Or you doing then press enter to save the text response the text variant and this is already preset so let's save this see if this works as it is now so if you're going to say hi greetings how can i assist so let's see if that's one of the responses to see it's response four Greetings, how can I assist? And if I type in something else, hey, hey Mark, how are you doing? And that's the one we just set up, right? Hey, first name, how are you doing? So this is all preset, default welcome intent. What if we want to create a training phrase or a, or a different response in of dialect flow to display inside of silk block we can easily do that by going to intents and then press the button create intent I'm going to give it a name for example uh, messenger bot Mazda design and marketing is focused on three providing three products so web design graphic design and creating uh, using messenger marketing by creating messenger bots. So let's make this messenger bots to make it more relevant for you guys. Then we are going to add a training phrase. And as you can see, we can add a user expression. For example, can you create a chatbot? You press enter, you can easily put in another training phrase. Do you create chatbots? Another another phrase could be uh, you make messenger bots. Let's keep it at this these three, and then actions and parameters will not go into that right now. Yeah, I'm just going for a quick response. We're going to press add response. And then we're going to type in do you create message bots yes we do first name oh one name and you can also do a text frame variant so enter a text response uh you are talking with one right now. So the answer to that would be yes. So it is a little bit more cocky, of course, and a little bit, <laughs> little bit more engaging. But yeah, you can you can get the idea in uh, by providing different text response. So if you press save. We're going to test this. So do you make bots? The talking one would right now. So the answer to that would be yes. And can you make the a chatbot, for example? Yes, we do, Mark. Be better would be yes, we can, of course. Uh, but you get the idea of including more responses and each time someone types a certain training phrase a certain phrase inside your message bot you will get a different response from that but if we don't want to send a text response for example but send a flow instead we can do that as well so we're going to delete this text response first we go over to silverbots and create a flow you want to send. I created one in advance, so that's just a dialect flow test. Let's press edit so you can see what, what's inside. 
just a regular we create highly advanced and interactive message bots to engage with your subscribers and build long lasting relationships. Would you like our help to build you your very own messenger bot? Okay. So if we want to send this, how would, we, how would we do this? Very simple. First we go over to the URL of the flow and we need to copy this series of numbers. This is called the flow ID. So just control plus C or command and C for a Mac. And just go over to dialect flow. Then we're going to say add a response and we're going to choose custom payload. And then we get a simple JSON format. So what we need to do is click between the brackets, press enter, and then insert a simple quotation mark flow end, quote, end quotation mark. Then we got this and we just paste in that flow ID and that's it. That should send out the flow we just set up. So let's test this because we are now going to say something like, do you create bots? Because it will also get variants of the different training phrases. If I say, do you create uh, bots instead of chatbots? It will also catch that phrase. Let's do that. Do you create bots? Let's see if it's going to take that flow. And as you can see, the flow is easily sent. We can we create highly advanced and interactive messenger bots to engage with your subscribers and build long lasting relationships. Would you like our help to build you your very own messenger bot? They can either press yes or no or continue. So if they're typing yes, great. So that's that's the power of Silverbots, right? Nothing to do with dialect flow. If you use quick replies, somebody types in the exact quick reply, it also continues the flow. So there's no need to use multiple uh, user input for that. It's just a way to get somebody through that flow without them breaking it. Uh, but enough said. Like I said, you can either do a text response or a custom payload. You can also do uh, a variant of this. So what I mean by that is you want to do some typing in between. So if I would set up, I would delete this custom payload and I will add a text response. And yes, we do. Yes, we do. Save this. The moment it's being triggered by dialect flow, it will be sent. And to simulate a more conversational uh, message, so to simulate a conversation, you can also build in some typing in between. But the way to do this is just to go and create yourself a flow. With just a single typing in between. I've just created this flow, and the only thing inside the flow is just typing for three seconds. I just grab this flow ID, just copy this, go over to dialect flow, I'm going to add a response, custom payload. Then I'm going to enter that flow. Of JSON, so quotation mark, flow, and quotation mark. Then we're going to paste in that flow ID. If I save it like this, I'm going to test it out. You will see that do you create, do you make bots? We'll send out, yes, we do right away, and we'll show the typing for three seconds afterward. But to simulate a more conversational Piece of messenger bot you could easily just put in this custom payload so the three second typing and then put in your text response if you'd like to so if we save this I'm going to try it out 
to you. Step out. And we get the three second typing and then the message will be triggered as you. Yes, we do. So that's also possible by providing a custom payload to send out a flow. Just a little piece of JSON, a opening bracket, a closing bracket with a quotation mark opening flow quotation mark closing. And then not sure how this symbol is called in English and where you need to include this and then the flow ID, which you can find in the URL right on top. So ID is and then this series of number will be your flow ID. So hope that's clear and hope this will set you up for a fun experience creating a really smart messenger bots. If you have any questions, just let me know. In the coming videos about dialect flow, I will go further into um, getting into more parts of the intent. So if we go into this intent, for example, I'll explain about events and I will explain about actions and parameters and stuff like that. Just try this first part out, get the integration going. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day and we'll talk soon.